Hi friends, good evening. Once again, welcome back to my channel, Mugambiga Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC, Nursing Officer Exam Preparation. Exam is on 7th July. We can see the question. First question, Fusamide act on which part of the nephron? Options, option A, proximal tubules. Option B, descending limb of loop of Henle. Option C, ascending limb of loop of Henle. Option D, distal tubules. Prosamide is an example of loop diuretics. It is act on ascending limb of loop of Henle. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. What is the renal threshold of glucose? Options. Option A, 150 mg per deciliter. Option B, 185 mg per deciliter. Option C, 200 mg per deciliter. And option D, 175 mg per deciliter. Renal threshold value of glucose is 180 milligram per deciliter in our option 185 is there so that will come correct 185 milligram per deciliter. Move on to the next question. Swallowing of the food and pharyngeal functions are controlled by which cranial nerve? Options. Option A. Trigeminal nerve. Option B. Vagus nerve. Option C. Glossopharyngeal nerve. Option D. Olfactory nerve. Our question, swallowing of the food and pharyngeal functions. Both the swallowing and pharyngeal functions are controlled by glossopharyngeal nerve. Option C is the correct answer. Glossopharyngeal nerve is ninth cranial nerve. It is a mixed nerve. That is, it has sensory and motor function. Its function is to control swallowing of the food and gag reflex. Here, swallowing of the food and pharyngeal functions are there. So, that is controlled by glossopharyngeal nerve option C. And the next question, sucrose consists of option A, glucose plus maltose, option B, glucose plus fructose, option C, glucose plus glucose, option D, glucose plus galactose. Sucrose consists of glucose plus fructose. Option B is the correct answer. Sucrose is glucose plus fructose. And the next question. A nurse is reviewing the client's records and notes. The client has renal disease. The nurse expected to note which of the following laboratory result. Options. Option A. Decrease serum potassium. Option B. Decrease serum phosphorus. Option C. Elevated serum creatinine. Option D. Increased Hb level. Here the question is, a nurse is reviewing or nurse is checking the records of a patient with renal disease or a kidney disease patient. And the question is, among the following, which lab value we can find out in the lab report okay, of this uh, renal disease patient? And... Uh, Usually, patient with renal disease, we will find out the RFT value, that is, a renal function test, that is, serum, creatinine, blood, urea, nitrogen, urea, uric acid, and all. In our option, elevated serum creatinine is there. So, in case of renal disease, the creatinine value will be elevated. Normal serum creatinine is 0 0.6 to 1. 1. 1.3 milligram per deciliter that is the normal serum creatinine and the next question in alzheimer's disease which of the following is not seen options option a apraxia agnosia option c aphasia option d a calculia our question is among the following which one is not present in a patient with alzheimer's disease Alzheimer's disease means it is an irreversible form of senile dementia. Okay, it is not changeable. Okay, dementia means loss of memory. So, the most common type of dementia is Alzheimer's disease. It is an irreversible form of dementia. So, in this Alzheimer's patient, they may experience agnosia, amnesia, aphasia, apraxia. They will not experience a calculia so answer is option d a calculia a calculia means loss of ability to calculate simple calculation patient can't able to calculate simple calculation that is a calculia but it is not seen in case of alzheimer's disease and first option apraxia apraxia means inability to perform motor activities for example, patient can't able to do body movements and all. Inability to perform motor activities. That is known as apraxia. 
and the second option agnosia agnosia means failure to recognize failure or inability to recognize familiar object for example familiar sounds familiar shape familiar people they can't identify or they can't recognize familiar object is known as agnosia and aphasia means loss of ability to understanding and expressing spoken words person can't able to understand and express spoken we are speaking that words they can't able to understand that is known as aphasia so apraxia agnosia aphasia and amnesia amnesia means loss of memory that will experience alzheimer's disease patient but a calculia will not see and the next question drug of choice for mania options option a metazolam option b ezt option c lithium option c d amitriptyline drug of choice for mania is lithium option c is the correct answer move on to the next question increase suicidal tendency is associated with options option a decrease serotonin option b increase noradrenaline option c decrease dopamine option c increased gaba here our question is increase suicidal tendency so increase suicidal tendency or suicidal thinking is one of the characteristic features of depression in depression there will be deficient serotonin level we can see so here correct answer will come decrease serotonin option a and the next question earliest sign of myasthenia gravis is options option a ptosis option b diplopia option c ascending weakness option c presbycusis here our question what which is the earliest or first sign of myasthenia gravis it is ptosis ptosis means drooping of the eyelid and the next question deficiency of the following substance causes hypochromic microcytic anemia options option a niacin option b vitamin b12 option c folic acid option d iron hypochromic microcytic anemia is occurs due to the deficiency of iron option d is the correct answer first option niacin niacin is vitamin b3 its deficiency causes pellagra pellagra is characterized by 3d syndrome that is dermatitis dementia and diarrhea and option b vitamin b12 its deficiency causes pernicious anemia and folic acid option c its deficiency causes megaloblastic anemia move on to the next question spinal cord injury patient develops options option a loss of bladder control option b preservation of bowel control option c battles i option d all of this spinal cord injury patient can develop loss of bladder control your an incontinence of urine that is loss of bladder control option a is the correct answer sir. move on to the next question the storage form of iron is options option a ferrous sulfate option b ferrous gluconate option c ferritin option d all of this which is the storage form of iron storage form of iron is ferritin option c is the correct answer and the next question pseudo dementia is seen in which among the following options option a depression option b alcoholism option c mania option d schizophrenia here the question pseudo dementia pseudo dementia means false dementia or mimic like dementia symptoms it is seen in depression option a is the correct answer and the next question the treatment of bipolar mood disorder include all except options option a lithium option b ect option c antidepressants option d aversion therapy here the question is which among the following is not used for the treatment of bipolar mood disorder it is aversion therapy option d is the correct answer aversion therapy is mainly a behavior therapy which is used for the treatment of alcohol dependence the principle which is used or the principle which is following this aversion therapy is pairing of the unpleasant stimulus with an unpleasant response 
the sentence was one of the previous year question the question was like this which of the following behavior therapy act on the following principle pairing of the unpleasant stimulus with an unpleasant response so this was the question so here answer is aversion therapy aversion therapy is mainly used for alcohol dependence so it is not used for bipolar mood disorder remaining lithium ect antidepressant all are the treatment of bipolar mood disorder and the next question the microorganism closely associated with dental caries is options option a corny bacterium species option b candida albicans option c streptococcus sanguis option d all of this a question which organism causes dental caries among this option streptococcus sanguis is responsible for dental caries it is closely associated with dental caries streptococcus sanguis and the next question klebs lofer bacillus is the other name of options option a streptococci option b salmonella typhi option c corny bacterium diphtheria option d mycobacterium tuberculosis klebs lofer bacillus is also known as corny bacterium diphtheria which causes diphtheria and the next question the most suitable disinfectant for decontamination of contaminated endoscopies options option a 1% sodium hypochlorite option b 2% glutaraldehyde option c 5% phenol option d 10% ethanol contaminated endoscope can be disinfected by using 2% glutaraldehyde option b is the correct answer endoscopes are sterilized by using 2% glutaraldehyde move on to the next question systemic desensitization is the treatment of choice in options option a phobia and ocd option b depression option c mdp option d schizophrenia systemic desensitization is used for the treatment of phobia and obsessive compulsive disorder option a is the correct answer and the next question persistent or recurrent tendency to observe persons engaged in sexual activity is called options option a fetishism option b voyeurism option c zoophilia option d none of this this question persistent or frequent or recurrent tendency or recurrent behavior to observe persons engaged in sexual activity is called voyeurism option b is the correct answer and first option fetishism fetishism means by sexual arousal it is one of the sexual disorder in which the sexual arousal occurs by seeing non living objects such as ladies bras or panties by seeing that non living object there may be sexual arousal occurs in a person that is one of the sexual disorder it is known as fetishism and uh, option c zoophilia zoophilia means persistent involvement of sexual activity with animals zoophilia activity sexual activity with animals is known as zoophilia here our question answer is voyeurism option b the next question inability to explain one's emotional feelings is termed as options option a alexithymia option b agitation option c aphasia option d apraxia inability to explain one's own emotional feelings is known as alexithymia option a is the correct answer so far we discussed previous year questions and also important questions surely these questions will helpful for your exam preparation if it is useful for your studies please share my videos to your friend circle